In the previous video, we tried to assign every subset of the real numbers a value so that we get something that behaves like length. However, we constructed something called a Vitali set and showed that it was not possible to assign it any value so that all our required axioms are preserved. In this short follow-up video, we are instead going to talk about volume. More specifically, we are going to look at a famous paradox in mathematics called the banat tarski paradox. The statement of the paradox is as follows. Given a solid ball in 3D space, one can decompose the ball into finitely many pieces, move the pieces around through translation and rotation, and as assemble them to yield two identical copies of the original ball. A popular formulation of the paradox is the statement that a pea can be chopped up and reassembled into the sun. Mathematically, what we mean is that a solid ball of radius, a small radius, can be decomposed into finitely many pieces and reassembled into a solid ball of arbitrarily large radius. At this point, you might be thinking, how could this be at all possible? Shouldn't translation and rotation preserve the volume of the pieces, and hence their total volume? How can the volume double? Well, nothing in mathematics is violated if we cannot assign any volume to each of the individual pieces. Indeed, just as how certain subsets of the real line, like a Vitali set, cannot be assigned a suitable length, these individual pieces are so bizarre and complicated that we cannot assign them a volume. Having studied the Vitali set, I think you will find the above statement believable. And this is indeed how the paradox is resolved. Stephen Bernard and Alfred Tusky published their paper on this in 1924, proving the more general statement shown on the screen. Unfortunately, the decomposition they discuss is too complicated for inclusion in this video. For those who are interested, I have put a link to the Wikipedia article in the description below, which contains a sketch of the proof. So that's all for this video, it's a short video, but do remember to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more math videos.